Hey folks, this is IOE throwing back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is iRush. And we saw quite a bit of iRush last week in the bonus clips. But here's iRush back, this time in an actual gameplay. And the first thing we see is him getting shot by an Evo DM. Uh, this is a tier 10 game on Fjords, and he is in the tier 10 uh, check tank, the TVP. T5051. Uh, this is an auto loader. It's got a four round clip. Uh, that's why you see him not having loading any HE. I wouldn't either in an auto loader. Um, generally, you want HE for a shot or two. Auto loaders is generally not worth having. You know, a whole clip of HE is generally not worth it. You, you generally don't get through that many rounds of HE s sequenced in a row. Um, before you need something else. And there's no point in doing a full reload for both of those. It's just waste time. Um, so yeah. This looks like an interesting game, except for the fact that we're absolutely stranded up here. Because there's no way for him to go down without getting spotted by the, um, the E50M. Now, if that Type 5 turns his gun away from us, like it did just then... Now we can pop it and put rounds into the soft, fushy bits. Not Type 5. May understand this getting shot at, but it does not have any ability to return fire on us right now. I'm actually pretty sure it's in a position where it can't return fire on anybody except for that P44. Uh, that was the only guy I could shoot, and that's a Tier 8. So the big, tall Tier 10 is picking on a little tiny Tier 8 because... He put himself in position where he can't possibly shoot at anyone else. Ooh, that's a T28. That's the back end of a T28. We will take those shots day in and day out. Ooh, unfortunately, didn't get the kill because <laughs> the 4005 over there, also, um, you know, our platoon mate, just annihilated that poor guy. And that is the end of him. Um,. Personally, I think I'd be taking sh the shots of the, the... Ow! Scorpion, you pegged us. Uh, at the, the Type 5 because of the fact that it's a Tier 10. Um, but obviously, that will get you shot at. Um, and so... It's kind of a yes and no thing. Um, how is an object shooting us? It doesn't feel like there should be any way in which... No, Object can shoot us, but oh well. Hey, look! A 4005! In the exact same position! I wonder if we can shoot at him! Yes, we can! <laughs> okay. Um, oh, and there goes the E50M that's been spotting us on and off all game. So now, we are a little bit more free to move. No, the 4005 is coming over in this direction. That's unfortunate. The Type 5 is looking in this general direction, which is bad. And now that he's not, and we see engine deck. Um, the object 430 is still shooting from up there somewhere. Um, bounces. Yet another shot. Oh, I see what happened. So the 430 got in here, and then up onto the peak before our team could do anything about it. Um, that's why he was last spotted over here. But he's shooting us from down here. Um... Somehow, I was thinking that somehow he'd slip through the line over here. But obviously that's not what happened at all. Now, though, he's down in the lake, around the pond behind us. Which is a great position because we've farmed so much damage from there. <laughs> um. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, though, returning fire... A 4-3 is a little different than returning fire on a big, dumb heavy that's looking the wrong way. The 430 doesn't take much time at all to be looking the right way. IS-3, though. IS-3 is going to take forever to aim, and by that time we can snap out an entire clip and pull back before the guy can even fire. That's assuming he's loaded, by the way. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to assume he's loaded, because, you know, assuming people aren't loaded when you don't know is, is a bad plan. Um, now, he'd really like to finish off this I-3, obviously, because that would take one more gun off the board. And it'd be a nice kill, but I don't think he's going to get the opportunity to do that. Um, he takes a snapshot 
wildly at the ELC, but of course that was almost guaranteed to miss. Uh, he's got an opportunity on the 430 because the 430 is doing. No, nope, never mind. The 430 is a lot lower down than I thought it was. Um, looks like he might still be going for it though. 430 is not looking this way. 430 is looking this way. <laughs> that's that's one of the reasons though, like that fighting against the 430 is just so hard to do because it's you know he's not looking this way. He is looking this way. He's not looking this way, and he's dead. Um, that thing does have the mobility to spin around pretty much as it wants to. But now there's only a couple enemy tanks left on the board, and there's like <laughs> there's one last. Hey, there's that Scorpion G that greeted us so early in the game. Let's go give him some good news. Um, there is only three tanks left on the map, and this guy is the closest to us, so we're going to speed up a little bit so we get into fighting range a little bit sooner. Oh, we derped one into the ground, and that is going to be the reason we die. There's no way you survive this. Nope. Oh, and then he dies immediately after. Isn't that the way it always works? Oh. So that is game. At the cost of our life. Um. <laughs> so close, Irish. You had the damage. But you had derped one into the ground at close range. How do you miss from... You, you know, having your gun inside the enemy tank. <laughs> but you did! Uh, just make sure, especially at the end of the game, when, you know, everything's in line. I know your hands are probably shaking from this. But you just gotta make sure your gun is actually pointed on target. And the little green X is, is actually green and not red. And then pull the trigger. <laughs> that's, that's really all it came down to. It was a well-played game other than that, though. <laughs> this was a lot of fun to watch. That is only good enough for a Master Badge second class. Um, the reason for that, of course, he, he didn't spot all his damage. He was spotting, um, he was shooting things that other people were spotting. That's, of course, why his experience is, is, is where it is. Uh, fire for effect, five bonds, never bad thing. High caliber and tank sniper awards. Uh, I wish we could have dumped more rounds into the Type 5 because of the fact that. It was a Type 5. I assume he was dumping rounds into the T-28 um, because the T-28 was pushing on our ally, and that was probably a request over comms. Hey, can you help me deal with this T-28? Sure, I can get him into range so you can kill him kind of thing. Um, it was, I'm sure, exactly what happened. But overall, it was a great game. Um, unfortunately, it didn't make a ton of money. would have made a little bit more with premium. But even though, like, I mean, if you'd been running some reserves or something, this would have made some a nice profit. And anytime you can get over 6,000 damage in a game, it's a good game. Uh, despite if the experience is a little bit lackluster because of the fact that he wasn't spying his own targets and stuff like that. And, of course, he didn't get many kills. Um, only the two. Whereas, I mean, like, I mean, it was just a lot of people were cleaning up his work kind of thing. And, uh... He did a lot of heavy lifting and then didn't get a lot of rewards for it. That's just the way it works sometimes. Uh, well done overall. Thank you so much for saying this in. And stay tuned for the bonus clip. Enjoy.